Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a VM called Katana. It's actually on the offensive security proving page or proving grounds page. So what I found out, we can get this box. If you don't have an account on here, it's free. You can sign up. It takes a couple minutes. But if you don't want to go through that process, you can actually download this from PhoneHub and I'll show you guys where the machine is and I'll put the link in the description. Like always, you know, if you guys enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe, and you know, hit the bell, get all these alerts. So remember, all these videos are for educational purposes, to learn these techniques, to learn the process of pen testing or capture the flags. Like these are pretty fun. It's a learning process and they're always fun. So if you if you guys want, you guys can go out to Bone Hub, and this is the machine here what we're going to be working with today. It's called Katana One. You can just download it right here. And the goal for this, let's go, is just to get root shell and then obtain the flag. Okay, so this was a pretty pretty cool box. Pretty cool box. I did it the other day. I actually didn't know it was on Volm Hub until, you know, I, I did it on Offensive Security Proving Grounds. So I did it actually in class yesterday. So it was pretty fun. So what we're going to do is just do a full walkthrough of this process of how we scan the box, how we find the IP address, how we can go about this whole process. All right. So the first things first, let me open up my notes. Let me make sure I remember the IP address because the, it is right here. It's in my VMware workstation. So this machine is right over here. See, it's Katana TTL1. So let's go back here. Let's open up a command shell. All right, let's make this a little bigger. So first things first, I want to go ahead and do sudo su, get into root. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is an arp, that arp scan dash l. So I want to go out and see what the IP addresses are on my network. So I know the IP address because I just scanned this before just to make sure the machine is up and running. So it's going to be 206. And I document it on my other page because I tend to forget, you know, IP addresses, especially if I'm like in the middle of a few things and I just forget. That's the way I roll. I forget things. I'm human. So, so the next thing what we can do is go ahead and do an nmap scan. We can do an nmap scan against this IP address. All right, so let's do an nmap. It's already there. So we're gonna, I'm going to run the syntax, right? Dash S big C or capital C dash lowercase s capital V for but and an aggressive scan and full port scan. Okay. So let that run. We're going to scan and we're going to get the information about ports, services, etc. Once we have that, we can actually document that. Let's actually do that because let's do see if I have cherry tree. Yeah. So let's open up cherry tree here. Let's do a new, let's do Katana VM. Okay. And we can do subnote, we can do nmap. All right. So we'll take all this output to do all this output, copy it, put it in here, and we have it here. Okay. It's a little small, but let's see if we can make that bigger. I think it's in file. What is it? Edit formatting. There is file preferences, so maybe I changed it. Hmm. Edit. Let's see if there's a way just to. Let's see something. Let's control A and see if we can do something. There we go. All right. So it worked. So what I did is I just did a control A, control, and then I just up on my mouse. Okay. Because I guess this is a different version than a, that I used in my other VM. I normally use a VM in my virtual box, and uh, and yeah, this pretty much they said it works better in VMware. So I go about, you know, what they say. 
All right, so this is pretty much my output. So we have port 21, 22, 80, 139, 445, 70, 80, 80, 88, which is light speed, HTTP, D. So then we have a port 8715, Nginx 1.14.2. So we have some interesting information here. All right, so let's minimize this for now, okay? Let's go ahead and clear this off the screen since we have that, right? Let's do an ls, I wanna see where I'm at. Let's do, I wanna make a directory called Katana. And cd into that, okay? So I wanna do all my work in here, all right? So ls, nothing's in there, okay, cool. So now the next thing we do is do a go buster, all right? So we're gonna do a go buster and see, so we have, whoops, ah, we have port 8088, right? Let's see, right here. So we're gonna utilize that right about now. So let's do Go Buster, all right? So, all right, perfect, it's still in here. So Go Buster DIR, which is directory, and the URL, which is http slash slash 192.168.32.206 colon 8088, and in the word list, we're going to be utilizing, okay? So, and we can do, uh, let's do HTML, PHP, and TXT, just for, see what's out there, right? So, this is going to go out there and see what's out there on all these. We have HTML, we have PHP, we don't have no TXTs, all right? So upload.html looks pretty interesting. We can check that out in a second. And there's obviously there's other ones as well. Docs, I don't know what's under there. But we can see that there's upload.html, right? So let's copy this. Let's go out here. Let's do a 192.168.206. And this is just a web server, right? So what if we did colon 8088, same thing, okay? So now if we do slash upload .html, so we, now we have this upload page, okay? So from this upload page, what do you think we're gonna do? We have to upload a file, right? We have to upload something here in order for us to get a shell on that box. And my guess would be a PHP reverse shell, right? So where is that? Let's go ahead. What we're going to do is clear this out. Oh, actually, look, I'm forgetting my documentation already. Let's copy this. Go to Cherry Tree. Let's add another note. Let's go, go Buster. Okay, and then paste. And that's my Go Buster. Okay. So now let's minimize this and let's go ahead and clear this out. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually copy the reverse shell. There is one right in window uh, in Linux, Kali Linux, or you can actually go out to pen test monkey, go ahead and cheats, uh, shells, reverse shell cheat sheet, and then PHP, or you can just go, let's go straight to shells and then here let me actually make this bigger i can't see it so php right here and then you can just php reverse shell and you can download this okay and then this is pretty much how you get it ready we're going to be running netcat in a second but let's just go ahead and get it from when uh from right from cali right so we're going to do copy because i want to put i want to make this i want to put this file in this directory so USR, and it's a uh, share, oh my God, web shells, <laughs> and then PHP, PHP, and then reverse, uh, PHP reverse shell. And then now what we're gonna do is just copy it right where I'm at. So I wanna just do a little dot, okay? So now if I do an LS, now it's there in my current directory, all right? So now we can, I want to actually make it a file that I want to modify. So I want to do NV. So I want to move this PHP to 
shell, I don't know, p for Patrick, dot php, okay? Now we can do an ls, now we have that, that file in here, so now we can do cat, and now this is, this is the script, okay? But if we go up, down, sorry, if we see here the IP address and the port, we have to change that to our local IP address, okay? What is my local IP? I have no idea. Let's do an if config. So dot 200. So I want to do, I'm going to copy this so I don't forget. And I want to nano shell. And now I want to make those modifications. I want to make the port modification and the IP modification, okay? So let's go here, change this, and paste. Boop. Okay. And then I want to change this to, I don't know, 5555. Okay. Do a control X. Yes. And now I can clear this. Now I can just do cat. Now let's cat it out and make sure the changes took effect. I always like to verify, that's just me. All right, so we can see our IP address, our port, okay? So now, let's clear this out. Now what we have to do, uh, let's go, oh, I'm gonna make this smaller. Let's give me one second. That's what happens when you, I don't know, maybe I don't have enough uh, RAM or anything allocated to this. All right, so the next thing we do is upload this file Okay, to our PHP or to this page, not that page, here. So let's make this larger as well. well maybe I'll be too, maybe I'll be too, uh, well. there you go. So we, now we can just browse and where, where did I put that? <laughs> oh my God, I don't even know where I'm at. So home Cali, okay, so Kali, Tana, right here. So now, what I want to do is here, what I want to do is run an N, uh, netcat. So let's do netcat dash. <coughs> oh man, sorry. Dash LVP 5555. Okay. So I want to have uh, I want to listen on that. Man, my nose burns. Ah. So we'll we'll give this a second. We'll come over here and see if we can uh, see this. Uh, make this a little smaller. Oh my God! Come on. Put this in up here, and let's bring this down here. And once I execute this. Uh, or not. So once I execute this, we should get a connection. Or not. Give it a second. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So So now that's uploaded. You know what? Let me make this bigger. So if we remember, let's go back to. Sometimes I have this is why I have these notes, and it was port. Okay, 87, 87, uh, 87, 15. So let's go back here. Let's go to 192. What the hell is the IP address? 192. Yep. 192.168 and 206, and then it's. A, what is it? 8715. Okay. And then I want to do uh, this here. Katana underscore P. Paste. All right. So now let's minimize this. Now, once we hit here, we hit enter. Should there we go. So now we just uploaded that, and now the PHP script ran. As you can see here, we got that shell. So now if we do who am I, we're www.data, right? Or dash data. So now the next thing we have to do is 
we have to escalate the permissions now. So there's a few ways to do this. And I'm going to, there's, you know, cheat sheets out to, let's actually go back out to the interwebs. And I think I had some uh, cheat sheets here. So if we do, uh, let's see, get cat. No, it doesn't show us on here. But we can just go out to the interwebs, okay? Get cap. So we can use get cap dash r. So this is just pretty much uh, give us a little insight about it. All right. So let's see Linux. Insecure. Yeah, let's see if we see some information here. Yeah, that didn't show us really much. All right, but I don't want to make the video too long. So what we have to do here is just use git cap dash r to, to the power. Uh, I got this new keyboard and everything is so discombobulated. All right, so dev null, okay? And then the next, yeah. So the next thing right here, we can see that Python-2.7, okay, so what we can do now is run a script, like I have it here, because I just typed it up, so I don't have to type it again, and paste it here. We can hit enter, and we'll give this a second. And then usually if I just do an ID, oops, ID, and now the UID is root, okay? So technically, if I just do ls, and we can see all the directories, right? So if we cd into root, ls, we can see root.txt, cat root.txt, and we got the root key. So we can say copy this, put in the cherry tree, root. And here we go, we got the root key. So that was pretty much the walkthrough to get the root access to our box here. And I think that was pretty much the, the goal here was to obtain, obtain a root key under root. So we did that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Please like, subscribe. If you have any questions about this box, let me know. And until next time, have a good one. Thanks guys.